James Lunis, this wine is next. Charles Krug, Sauvignon Blanc, Napa Valley, 2019 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this wine. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Beautiful weather here in San Francisco. Pretty rare. Nice sunny day. I'm really glad to have it. So it hasn't been a full day of sun, but I'll take whatever I can get. So beautiful sunshine in this bottle here, which is, I think, a really splendid, gorgeous bottle. I don't know the suggested retail. So I found this in the price point range of, say, $14 to $20. I think what even at $20, it's a fantastic, good price point given the solidness of this wine. Uh, splendidly beautiful, gorgeous. And I have seen more Sauvignon Blancs in Napa Valley for much more expensive price points. So I think it's a handsome, gorgeous wine, the seafood, cheeses. Sometimes we only think of food and wine, which is a great thing, no doubt about it. So I don't think there's any wines that don't go well with food. I think most, and if not all do. But I also think there's a nice time to enjoy, uh, maybe before the start of your evening experience, to enjoy a glass of Sauvignon Blanc and to enjoy it on its own. So you capture and experience the fullness of that wine, the richness of this wine. So first of all, point score, 93 points out of 100 points. So also right up here, subscribe button. So please hit that button. I thought I'd say that in the beginning because um, sometimes people don't, I get it. You have a lot of things to do and you may not have time to see the entire video. So I just wanna point that out. You'll see the latest videos that I am producing. So here we go. Now this is um, handpicked at night. This is going to be cold fermented. In addition to that, this has both native and select yeast. And uh, this is also aged surly. So some stirring in this as well. Uh, really gorgeous, rich wine. And I think it has such a sophisticated and beautiful uh, characteristic Sauvignon Blanc. So this wine is giving some citrus fruit characterization as well as stony characteristics. So some evenness in terms of balance, if you will, in terms of that coming to a bit of salinity note, fruit note, and uh, some spice note as well. So on this here on the scent characterization is white uh, nectarine notes as well as green citrus. Uh, moist stones, oyster shell to be specific. And uh, I would also even say on this is a bit of fennel note as well. Gorgeous, next the palate characterization. So nectarine note on this as well as green citrus, fennel. Love that fennel note and uh, moist stones. So it really has some salinity. Also that earthiness that comes with it. Also freshness that comes with this wine. It is not a uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, and so hence no gooseberry characterization, but it's really a beautiful, sophisticated wine. Price point's really decent. It's to enjoy year round. So you'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. And my podcasts are now on Stitcher and also on Spotify. So check that out, I'll put more information down below. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more and more beautiful sunny skies to you, and I hope it gets warmer wherever you are. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support. Salute.